Hey, Max, right, like, you, man. Good. How are you? Are you Max from Canada? That's right. Yes. Well, you're the Max who sends the messages on Instagram. That's right. <laughs> yes. Thank you. The lovely messages, man. I love it. I love the show. So you probably know that I love the season, right? Yeah, you think? Because <laughs> I was like, I was like, how the hell does this guy see the season? Like, I don't know how this guy is. <laughs> it's so amazing. He's got a hookup in somewhere, you know? <laughs> oh, uh, well, you, you just made my ear. <laughs> that was great. Oh, man. Um, Thanks, Max. Yeah, man, the, the show is amazing. Oh, wow. I, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love the show. Um, your portrayal of Uncle Nassim is incredible. So um, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Um, as an actor, how does one approach playing a character like Uncle Nassim? You know, it's, you know, it all, here's my approach. This is what I tell people, right? This is my, because I tell people any character you play is kind of like, you have to lend yourself to that character. So I go in, I'm late, right? I grow a beard. They groom it. All right. They slick my hair back. They put these ridiculous clothes on me, right? I put this weird accent on and then I have these beautiful words. All I have to do is commit to the truth of that character. Then, I, then the lathe in me has to be truthful to the moment and truthful to the circumstance. And then that character will come out of it. Doesn't mean that it's lathe, you know what I mean? But I am committed to it. And then it just, it just grows out of that. You know, you add all these elements together. And when you have good writing on top of that, that's the gift. And then it got like sec second season and third season. It was just like piece of cake. Like I literally don't, I read the script, you know, laugh and enjoy it. And then I don't read my lines, even if it's like a nine page scene, I won't start memorizing reading it until I'm in the car going to set because they're easy. So I just read it and oh, I pick it up. It's easy because I feel like he's Rami's in the character's head. He knows how they speak 100% and he writes perfect dialogue for them. Is it? I'm wondering, is it challenging to play a character that at the beginning of the of the first season, pretty much, you know, nobody likes until you start feeling for him and see where he comes from in the second season? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 uh, it's much easier when you play someone like not liking someone is OK, because a lot of characters we watch on TV is. Uh, um, you know, we, we just don't like those characters, but there's yeah. a difference between if you don't like someone because you just don't like that character or difference because you don't like him because you don't like the way he's played or it's written or it's two dimensional or stereotypical and blah, blah, blah. And this character is three dimensional. So yeah. he's got his own things and whatever, and you don't like him, but he'll show you there'll be moments in there that will make you think, you know, and I, <clears throat> and we knew that, that we're going to go somewhere. There's going to be moments where people are going to be very conflicted. They're going to be very conflicted. Oh, my God, I hate him, but yeah. oh, I feel for him. So I think it's all about, I don't, uh, you know, I don't care about playing a character that people are not going to like, but mm -hmm. as long as they don't like him because they don't like the character, they don't like what he's doing, they don't like th th these things, not because it's terrible writing or terrible portrayal. Yeah. Does that make any sense? It, it makes perfect sense to me. And um, uh, just to finish, um, why is a show like Rami uh, so important to watch, in your opinion? Well... I think there's so many, so many for for uh, people of color like us, for Arabs and and uh, whether Arab American or Arabs around the world, for them to see people like them portrayed on TV, you know what I mean? See themselves on TV on these huge platforms. It's something incredible. Like it's so, you know, I've always strived to see some portrayal, someone that I can fully relate to, you know? And so that's number one. And then on, and the, the, the genius thing about Rami in the show is that he, he not only does he do that, he makes it relatable to anyone else. Anyone yeah. else can relate to it. Everyone has an uncle like Nassim. People have like the friction at home, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, the sister always, many sisters in, in any family deal with like, oh, the double standards. You know, everything is relatable. He takes issues that are relatable to everyone and just throws them at this family and how they deal with them. So everyone relates to it. So that's why I think it's, um, it's, it's, it's great to watch. Nice to watch. Yeah. Um, so listen, I could talk to, about the show for another hour or two, but I don't have any more time. So uh, no worries, thank hit you. me up on Instagram. I'll answer you, man. Oh, great. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to absolutely. me on, on the show. Yeah, I absolutely man. loved it. So oh, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, Max. And I appreciate all your nice words and everything. And like, yeah, yeah, it's really cool, man. I appreciate it.
Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a great day. You too, brother. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.